Hi, this is GED teacher Damon Tennant, and uh, a little bit casual tonight. You know, usually I have on a nice collared shirt, white shirt, uh, to try to look uh, the part of a professional teacher. But tonight, uh, we're just going to go edit um, just a little bit more casual. Um, it's been a long day for me. I've been uh, working with a lot of people today, and so I am just wrapping up the evening uh, here. Um, so I got my Starbucks here. Um, uh, not necessarily a, a product placement, but I do love Starbucks. So go ahead and take a little swig of that. Anyway, um, my favorite drink is a Grande Four Shot Breve Latte. So what that is is four shots of espresso uh, and Breve, which is half and half. And so I don't like sugar in my latte, but that Breve, that half and half gives it a little bit of sweet. It just ties right in with that deep coffee because I got four shots in here. So that's my shot. Whatever your Starbucks drink is, feel free to um, put it down in the notes down there. But let's go ahead and jump into business for tonight's question. So tonight we're going to be looking at a GED math question. And, um, and, and this question is, is something that you're going to see uh, or you're going to see something similar like this on the GED test. Wait a second, I just have my pen here, okay? So anyway, if you want this question, you got to go into the description of this video. So if you're watching this video on YouTube, you got to go to that little description area. If you're on your phone, there's a little arrow underneath the video you can press and it uh, expands uh, the description section so you can um, go ahead and download this link. I'm going to put um, a practice test. Uh, for you. Uh, you can take it right online and you can get it right in the description of this video. So if you happen to be watching this video anywhere else, you got to go to YouTube to watch it. And that's where you're going to get the description because if I embed this on my website, you're going to see the video, but you're not going to see the description. So if you want to see the description so you can print and take this practice test, then you have to be watching this video on YouTube and then that way you'll be able to see the description. So the practice test of this question that I'm going to do here in a second, but also uh, I'm going to add four more questions in there for your GED test taking practice test taking pleasure uh, is going to be there for you. So let's go ahead and hit it up. So this question reads, Don owns a bait shop and caters to hundreds of fishermen each week. Um, Don wants to increase his income on his most popular item, night crawlers. If Don wants to increase his pop profit margin on night crawlers by 20%, what would be the new retail cost for night crawlers? Okay. And so on the GED test, you know, you're going to get those problems that have charts on it. Okay. And so uh, I'm going to just bear with me a second here. Uh, while I draw this chart and sorry I don't have the best kind of handwriting but I do my best okay and so here is item here and then this is wholesale cost and this is retail cost and this is the profit okay so the first item is rod and reel Rod and reel, and that's wholesale is sixteen ninety five, and retail is thirty three fifty. So the profit on that is sixteen fifty five. Then the next item is a dozen minnow bait. So I'm just going to put twelve minnow, uh, and the wholesale on that is two ninety five. Uh, and the retail cost is six fifty on that, and so the profit on that is three fifty five. If you're tracking with me, so again on the GED test, you're going to get graph type problems like this. And then we got the two dozen night crawlers. I'm just going to abbreviate that NC, uh, and the wholesale cost on that is three forty five. The retail cost is eight fifty five, and so the profit on that is ten. OK, so now if you've been spending any amount of time with me, you know, the key thing you got to do is go back to the question. And so the question here was what. Is, so if Don wants to increase his profit margin on night crawlers by 20 percent, 
what would be the new retail cost for night crawlers? So the retail cost, what is this cost right here? What is the new retail cost going to be if he wants to increase his profit? Here's his profit right here by 20%. Okay, so the first thing that we have to do there is we have to go down here and see what his profit is, and it's $5.10. So if he wants to go ahead and increase that, by 20%, we have to find out what 20% of $5.10 is. Okay, so the way you do that is you just simply drop the percent sign, move the decimal space over two spaces to the left, and get 420. So I'm going to come up here and you got 510 times 0 0.20, and I've already done the math on this question ahead of time, uh, is a dollar and two cents. Now, some of you probably have already, you know, saw that. So you get five dollars and ten cents times 0.2 percent gives us a dollar and two cents. Now, so if he wants to increase his profit, the question is, what will his new retail cost be? So now we have to come down here to 855 and we have to add that 20 percent profit additional that Don wants to make, we have to add that on to the retail cost. So the retail cost is 855. So now we're going to say 855 plus a dollar and two cent so he could increase his profit. And so the new retail cost for two dozen night crawlers is going to be $9.57. So again, this is how the GED test is structured. You're going to see word problems. You're going to see problems where they give you charts of information. And this is important to understand how to break these things down, how to read these charts like I just showed you how to do, how to do the basic skills of percent, knowing that 20% uh, uh, converts to a decimal to 0 0.20. Um, uh, uh, and to do that math there and then to know that the next move is to take that profit and come down here and add it in to nine dollars and fifty seven cents. So to get your answer. So again, I'm going to put together a practice test in the description for you. That practice test is going to have five questions for your GED math practice test taking pleasure. And you're going to be able to get that click the link right in the description of this video and go to it and take it right now whether you're looking at this on your smartphone whether you're looking at it on your PC your tablet whatever you're looking at it on you're gonna be able to do it right now again this has been GED teacher Damon Tennant coming to you with the GED math question if you like this video please like it if you like the kind of content that I put together please subscribe that way you'll get a notification anytime I plug a new video up here on my YouTube channel. Again, excuse my casualness. Uh, next time uh, I'll be back to my white shirts um, and, and looking a little bit sharper, be a little better shaven, uh, probably have my head shaved and all of that good stuff. But for now, thank you.